What's up, everybody? <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and read you something that I wrote for Facebook a little while ago, November 27th on 2017. Basically, whenever we Christians are asked about the problem of evil, how can a good God allow evil? Or how can an all-powerful God not stop evil? Or something along those natures. Uh, a lot of times we Christians, we like clam up. We don't know how to answer it. But I want to read you what I had wrote on Facebook back in November 27th. Uh, I'm going to read it only because I don't think I can write stuff like this very often. I think this was something that the Spirit just uh, just gave me the wisdom on. And I typed it up, posted it, got a lot of good feedback on it from Facebook. And so I want to read it for you. And then if you're ever presented with this question, maybe this would be one way that not only can you answer, but you can get the skeptic, the critic, the atheist to really contemplate uh, this question from their worldview. So let me say the problem of evil. Many times we Christians are questioned on the existence of God due to the presence of evil. The mere presence of evil isn't proof for the non-existence of God. If anything, it's an attack on the character of God, something to which I explain later in a future post. However, when we're asked this question, we Christians always go on the defense trying to answer the critic. We should do what the Christ did and turn the question back to the atheist, skeptic, or critic. They have but two options in addressing the presence of evil with their evolutionist, atheistic worldview. First, they must accept that there is an objective goodness by which evil is judged against. And in accepting objective goodness, they must discern where this intrinsic belief in objective goodness or truth comes from. The atheistic worldview doesn't allow for objective truth, but rather relativism based on culture and upbringing. How is an atheist to declare a suicide bombing, cannibalism, or rape evil when it's the accepted norm in a society? There must be an intrinsic moral compass within the heart of man. The only other alternative to answering the problem of the presence of evil is to deny such evil exists, but I doubt they would go to the lengths of denying that evil exists. The presence of evil is not a problem for the Christian worldview alone, but rather it's a problem for all worldviews. Christianity gives the best, rational, non-contradictory answer in answering this problem, and when viewed through an atheistic lens, the atheist worldview begins crumbling because they either have to deny evil exists or recognize objective morality in which to judge evil against good. So there you have it. That was my thoughts on when we're asked the question about how can a good God allow evil? If God's real, why do we have evil in the world? Do what Messiah did. Turn the question back around on the person asking that question and see how their worldview holds up to it. I hope this has been a blessing to you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Drop me a line in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. We can address this question on the presence of evil in many different ways. This is just one way that I believe the Spirit gave me information on that I wanted to put out there for your toolkit. So until next time, thank you for watching and God bless.